All right, five tips for Apex and Blender. Here we go. Tip number one, you want to pose your character, but the bones are way too big and you can't see anything? Go to Edit, Preferences and activate the Copy Attributes menu. Select any bone and go to Bone Properties. Under Viewport Display, select the Bone Scale and set it to something like 0.1. Now press A to select all bones, then press Ctrl C and select Copy Bone Shape. There you go, you can actually see her face. Tip number two, you're rendering your character, but everything looks pixelated and noisy. You're gonna need some good old denoising. It's actually not that old. You're gonna need Blender version 2.83 or higher. So what you do is you go to your preferences, system, and make sure you're rendering using optics. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, use CUDA or OpenCL. Make sure you also activate your GPU. Now in your render properties, under sampling and denoising, enable render and viewport denoising. Also select how you want to denoise. In NVIDIA, select optics, otherwise Intel Open Image Noise. Looks much smoother, doesn't it? Tip number three, you have an animation and you want to make it loop. Go to your animations panel, open the graph editor and press N to open the hidden menu. Now select one of the graphs and apply a cycles modifier. Repeat the same for all other graphs and you've got yourself a waving animation. The same also works for materials. With Epic Skins, you can just select the mapping nodes with texture location and add the cycles modifier again. That's it, it's that easy. Tip number four, you want to make your character hold an object, but when you move the hand, the object doesn't go with the hand. You need to parent that object to the bone. Go to pose mode and click on the wrist bone. Now in the outliner, select your object, press Ctrl P and select bone. The object will now move with the character's hand. Now Riff can wave and stab people at the same time. Tip number five is really just to organize your workspace. Here for example you can see how I organize my shader editor with my files, shader editor, viewport and properties. You can right click between two windows to swap or join them and you can extrude new windows from the corners. Ah yes, maximum productivity.